Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we are going over how to increase swap on Linux. So let me open up the system monitor here. So by default on Ubuntu, everybody has a swap file. Now my swap file is about 8 gigabytes. But let's say I want a bigger swap file. Let's say I want to make mine 16 instead of 8 gigabytes. Well, you can actually do that quite easily. Now mine is 8 gigabytes because I made mine a little bigger already, so I'll make it even bigger. But the instructions still say the same. You may have a 4 gigabyte swap file when you install Ubuntu. You may have a 6. It, it really depends on what the installer chooses for you. But uh, this is how you can increase it. And this is a very in-depth uh, set up here, but to start off we need to get a terminal window open and uh, we'll need to turn off swap. So if we look through in the root folder we can see the swap file is right here. And we need to turn this off so you can turn it off with sudo swap off with this command like so. Now when I type this in and I go into the free command here we can see there's no longer any swap available. My RAM is here and my RAM is in use and such, but there's no swap available now because it was turned off. So from here, we need to delete the existing swap file. And to do that, we need to access root mode in the terminal. And you can do this on Ubuntu with sudo s. Now from here, we just need to go into the root folder, which you know I'm already in, but it would just be cd forward slash. And now from here, you can just do rm swap file. So going to delete this file here. So I'm going to delete it. LS, there's no longer a swap file. Now from here, we need to create a new swap file. So the way this works is you need to calculate your gigabytes and megabytes. So I'm going to open up a calculator. So I want to make my swap file 10 gigabytes. So what I'm going to do is 10, 24, times 10. And that gives me what I need to enter in this spot here. If I wanted to do 16, I would do 10, 24 times 16, and that would be my number, and so on. So whatever your needs are, just do that, that math there. So let's do 10, 24 times 10. And I know I said uh, 16 in a, a bit ago, but I think I'm going to go with 10. But just a demonstration so you guys get the idea. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Like if you want a smaller swap file, this instructions, you know, this also works for the instructions as well. You don't have to make it bigger. If you if you want to just make it smaller, you can as well. So keep that in mind. But we'll copy this command here up to the equal sign. Paste that in the terminal. And then we'll enter our number, which is right there. Now we're going to press the enter key and we're going to allow the dd command to create the swap file. And it can take a little bit of time. I have a very fast SSD, so it's gonna go by pretty fast, excuse me. So from here, we need to update the permissions and the permissions for the swap file have to be 600. So chmod 600 slash swap file. And uh, we run the ls command here and we see the swap files there again. It's got the correct permissions because I can do ls dash l and I see the permissions are correct. And now here we need to make swap from the swap file. So this file needs to be made and we can do that with the mkswap command over the swap file. And it's set up a UUID and all of that. So from here we can do swap on slash swap file. Now you shouldn't have to edit anything in the Etsy Let's see, nano, let's see, FS tab. You shouldn't have to edit anything because the way Ubuntu sets up swap files is it doesn't go based on the UUID. It does it based on the slash swap file. So you can delete the swap file and make a new one over and over and you'll never have to edit your, your boot information and tell the operating system to load it. It's already in there. If it was using this though, you would have to change it. But luckily we've got that there. And if we can open up the system monitor again, we see we now have 10 gigabytes of swap. So before I showed you it was eight, now I have 10. And I can increase it or decrease it as much as I want on the fly real time because it uses a swap file. So that is how you can increase your swap on Ubuntu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.